Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another exciting lesson from SAGET Tech. My name is Asaf, and I hope you enjoy this one. But please, please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below this video for us to be able to keep on producing more and more of these wonderful lessons. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be making a, a grade 7 term 3 pad, which is a magnetic crane. For quite some time, I've been trying to look for a simpler way to do this term 3 pad of a crane. And while searching the internet, I, I got a, quite a number of um, ideas, but this one uh, came up very simple and uh, cheap for our learners to do. So I adopted the method that I saw them using there. And I think it's, it's if you follow what I'm going to be showing you here, it's, it's going to be very easy for learners to do, for grade 7 learners to do. Let's first start with the materials that you're going to need. The first one, uh, you're going to need two AA cells with the cell holder. And you also would need a silo tape or a masking tape. And you're also going to need three money clips. And the one must be bent, nicely bent to make a crank. You also would need, I would say, use nuts, but even these washers would do about two or four of them. They would do a piece of wool. There we go. You're going to need a length of wool and an insulated conductor, but very thin, a very thin insulated conductor. You're also going to need a nail or a screw. As long as it can be used as an iron core, it's fine. Here is our nail or a screw. We also would need these four split pins, as you can see them. Uh, all these materials are obtainable in your technology kit. These are our split pin. The other things that you're going to need is you're going to cut... Uh, two lengths of cardboard that are going to act as our side panels. I will later on on our um, description just below this video uh, you will see the rightful measurements that you're going to need. And you must punch little holes on this side of the side panels. You're also going to need a flat kind of cardboard like this but you must score it like it's been scored here. You score it here, score here score here as well as here but don't cut where you score scoring you can use a knife and remember when you score you just uh, pull the knife as it you are cutting but make sure that you don't necessarily cut to the other side but here on the ends you must cut because that is where you're going to flip your 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 box and make an enclosure and take yeah you also need one big flat box that is going to be used as your base plate now let's start uh, connecting and see how we uh, make our crane the first thing that you do is to bend this cardboard like this to make an enclosure you bend it on the sides like this to make an enclosure and use a stapler to make it firm to combine this uh bended part of a cardboard or the these flips you can uh, you you join them with a stapler let me show you your enclosure will look like this after being stapled you see this is where we bent and stapled it so it will look exactly like an enclosure and the next thing you're going to attach your um side panels let me attach it for you and and and, and show you here they are slightly uh, nicely attached to your container or your enclosure sorry um here it is the two of them nicely attached to them you see there it, they look they would look like this in the inside and from the outside they are looking like this 
Here is your skeleton of your crane. Now I think you're getting uh, slowly getting to what's understanding as to how this is going to look like. There it is. Now the next thing you're going to place in your um you're going to make you could let's make the crane for now. After making the crane, we uh also make our pulley. I'll show you how to do that. Right. Now our crank will be looking like this. You remember that money clip that we said you're going to be using for a crank. This is how the crank looks like. It's uh, connected to the uh, one of the, the longer uh, jewel stick, dowel stick with a silo tape. There it is. Now if you want to start winding your crank you just touch it where uh, touch it here and start winding but it's it will be easy when the whole thing is completed you see this is how your crank will be rotating you rotate your crank like that now the other thing is your pulley that this short dowel stick is pushed through this so remember the hole that i said you should make here but here in the center you have your straw this straw will act as a pulley for um your wool to run smoothly as it rotates here so that there is less friction so the straw is working in this regard as your pulley 